Este es un método donde aprenderás inglés sin siquiera darte cuenta. Estaremos viendo historias en inglés, la cual escucharás y verás las letras en la pantalla. Y tu trabajo será intentar entender qué se está diciendo. Ya luego escucharás antes de escuchar la traducción en español. Esto ayudará muchísimo a activar tu agilidad en el idioma inglés. La clase va a estar muy interesante. Ya verán mejor cuando comience de qué estamos hablando. Así que, let's begin. As a 16-year-old, I was just starting to navigate the ups and downs of adolescence. I had a great group of friends, but there was one in particular who stood out. Stood out. Se puede definir como destacarse o sobresalir. Y el término ups and downs se refiere a altibajos. As a 16-year-old, I was just starting to navigate the ups and downs of adolescence. I had a great group of friends, but there was one in particular who stood out. Cuando tenía 16 años, apenas comenzaba a navegar por los altibajos de la adolescencia. Tuve un gran grupo de amigos, pero hubo una en particular que se destacó. She was my best friend since childhood and we had been through everything together. We shared countless memories, laughed at each other's jokes, and always had each other's backs. Childhood significa infancia. Countless memories. Incontables memorias. Countless. She was my best friend since childhood and we had been through everything together. We shared countless memories, laughed at each other's jokes, and always had each other's backs. Era mi mejor amiga desde la infancia y habíamos pasado por todo juntos. Compartimos innumerables recuerdos, nos reímos de los chistes de los demás y siempre nos apoyamos mutuamente. But it wasn't until recently that I realized my feelings for her were more than just friendship. Cuando utilizamos la palabra feeling en inglés, nos referimos a sentimientos. Y la palabra friendship significa amistad. But it wasn't until recently that I realized my feelings for her were more than just friendship. Pero no fue hasta hace poco que me di cuenta de que mis sentimientos por ella eran más que solo amistad. It all started when I was hanging out with her one day. I suddenly found myself paying close attention to every little detail about her, from the way she laughed to the way she brushed her hair back. It all started. Todo comenzó en pasado. It all started. The way she brushed her hair back. The way she brushed her hair back. La manera en la que ella cepillaba. Brush. Her hair back. It all started when I was hanging out with her one day. I suddenly found myself paying close attention to every little detail about her, from the way she laughed to the way she brushed her hair back. Todo comenzó cuando estaba saliendo con ella un día. De repente me encontré prestando mucha atención a cada pequeño detalle sobre ella, desde la forma en que se reía hasta la forma en que se peinaba hacia atrás. That's why I realized I had a crush on her. I was shocked and didn't know what to do. I couldn't let her know I was in love with her. I was too afraid it would ruin our friendship. I realize. Me di cuenta. Cuando usted realize something, es que usted se da cuenta de algo. Ruin our friendship. Este ruin significa arruinar. Arruinar. That's why I realized I had a crush on her. I was shocked and didn't know what to do. I couldn't let her know I was in love with her. I was too afraid it would ruin our friendship. Fue entonces cuando me di cuenta de que estaba enamorado de ella. Estaba en shock y no sabía qué hacer. No podía hacerle saber que estaba enamorado de ella. Tenía demasiado miedo de que arruinara nuestra amistad. So, I decided to keep my feelings to myself and act normal around her. I tried to hide my blush every time she was near and I even started avoiding her a little so I wouldn't slip up. I wouldn't slip up. Slip up es como resbalarse. Lo que está diciendo es que lo hacía para no irsele a resbalar. También vemos la palabra hide, hide, que significa ocultarse. 
So, I decided to keep my feelings to myself and act normal around her. I tried to hide my blush every time she was near and I even started avoiding her a little so I wouldn't slip up. Entonces, decidí guardar mis sentimientos para mí y actuar normal con ella. Traté de ocultar mi sonrojo cada vez que ella estaba cerca e incluso comencé a evitarla un poco para no cometer un desliz. But the more I tried to hide my feelings, the more obvious it became. My friends started to notice something was off and started teasing me about it. But the more I tried to hide my feelings, the more obvious it became. Obvious. Obvio. I tried to hide my feelings. Intentaba esconder mis sentimientos. Este teasing me about it es como burlándose de mí. Teasing me. Teasing me. Es otra manera de decirlo. Además de bother me. Or making fun of me. But the more I tried to hide my feelings, the more obvious it became. My friends started to notice something was off and started teasing me about it. Pero cuanto más intentaba ocultar mis sentimientos, más obvio se volvía. Mis amigos comenzaron a notar que algo andaba mal y comenzaron a molestarme al respecto. One day, my crush called me and asked if I wanted to hang out. I was so nervous, I almost declined the offer. But I knew I had to face my feelings and figure out what to do. When we met up, I couldn't help but admire her from afar and all the feelings came rushing back. Rushing back. Es como regresando. One day, my crush called me and asked if I wanted to hang out. I was so nervous, I almost declined the offer. But I knew I had to face my feelings and figure out what to do. When we met up, I couldn't help but admire her from afar and all the feelings came rushing back. Un día, mi crush me llamó y me preguntó si quería pasar el rato. Estaba tan nervioso que casi rechacé la oferta. Pero sabía que tenía que enfrentar mis sentimientos y decidir qué hacer. Cuando nos encontramos, no pude evitar admirarla desde lejos y todos los sentimientos regresaron rápidamente. I took her to a small park near the river, where we sat on a bench and talked. As the sun set and the stars started to twinkle, I finally mustered up the courage to tell her how I felt. On a bench. Bench son estos bancos que hay en los sitios públicos. Y este twinkle que él menciona es como destellos. The stars started to twinkle. Las estrellas comenzaron a destellar. I took her to a small park near the river where we sat on a bench and talked. As the sun set and the stars started to twinkle, I finally mustered up the courage to tell her how I felt. La llevé a un pequeño parque cerca del río, donde nos sentamos en un banco y hablamos. Cuando el sol se puso y las estrellas comenzaron a brillar, finalmente reuní el coraje para decirle cómo me sentía. I took a deep breath and said, Listen, I know this might sound crazy, but I have to tell you something. I have a crush on you and I think I'm in love with you. I took a deep breath. Deep breath. Respiré hondo. I took a deep breath and said, Listen, I know this might sound crazy, but I have to tell you something. I have a crush on you and I think I'm in love with you. Respiré hondo y dije, Escucha, sé que esto puede sonar loco, pero tengo que decirte algo. Tengo un crush contigo y creo que estoy enamorado de ti. She looked at me with surprise and then a sadness spread across her face. Really? I had no idea, she said. I've had a crush on you too, but I don't want to risk ruining our friendship. It's better if we just stay friends. Ella me miró con sorpresa y luego una tristeza se extendió por su rostro. ¿En serio? No tenía ni idea, dijo. También he estado enamorado de ti, pero no quiero arriesgarme a arruinar nuestra amistad. Es mejor si seguimos siendo amigos. She looked at me with surprise and then a sadness spread across her face. Really? I had no idea, she said. I've had a crush on you too, but I don't want to risk ruining our friendship. It's better if we just stay friends. I was heartbroken, to say the least. 
I had finally mustered up the courage to confess my feelings, only to have them rejected. Estaba desconsolado, por decirlo menos. Finalmente había reunido el coraje para confesar mis sentimientos, solo para que los rechazaran. But, I understood where she was coming from and I didn't want to risk losing her friendship either. So, I agreed to remain friends and tried to move on with my life. Pero entendí de dónde venía y tampoco quería arriesgarme a perder su amistad. Entonces, acepté seguir siendo amigos y traté de seguir adelante con mi vida. But, I understood where she was coming from and I didn't want to risk losing her friendship either. So, I agreed to remain friends and tried to move on with my life. Looking back, I can't help but wonder what could have been. Was there a chance for us to be together? Could we have made it work while still maintaining our friendship? Mirando hacia atrás, no puedo evitar preguntarme qué podría haber sido. ¿Había alguna posibilidad de que estuviéramos juntos? ¿Podríamos haber hecho que funcionara manteniendo nuestra amistad? Looking back, I can't help but wonder what could have been. Was there a chance for us to be together? Could we have made it work while still maintaining our friendship? The story ends here, but who knows, maybe there's a chance for a second part in the future. La historia termina aquí, pero quién sabe, tal vez haya una segunda parte en el futuro. Y bueno amigos, hasta aquí la clase del día de hoy. Espero que les haya gustado. Ya saben que si les gustó, le pueden dar like al video y suscribirse al canal. Estamos trayendo clases muy buenas casi todos los días. Recuerda que si te gusta aprender inglés con este y otro tipo de métodos, puedes adquirir nuestro curso completo Open Your Mouth English Course en precio de oferta por motivos de lanzamiento. Todos los detalles acerca de este curso están en el primer comentario. Yo soy su profesor Eduardo. Nos vemos allí.